Faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. You know, that verse, Romans 10, 17, is probably one of the most widely quoted verses in the Bible. In fact, I think only maybe a couple of them could possibly be quoted more so. But, you know, of that entire verse, in my entire walk with God, it's always been the first four words of that verse that have really impacted me and I've always anchored myself to. Faith comes by hearing. Faith comes by hearing. Interestingly enough, it's always been the last seven words of that verse that the majority of the body of Christ who I've talked to have really anchored themselves to and hearing by the word of God. Now, when we hear the word of God, we think the Bible because the Bible has words in it. So it means the Bible. So faith comes by hearing and hearing means reading the, reading the Bible. That's not what it means. It's not what it means. You know, if, if I'm not sure of something, if it's in my heart to say something, I'll believe it. Or I'll say I believe or it's my heart, it's my hope. But if I know something's not true, don't go to it. I want to say that's not true. Because the Bible mentions the word in the Bible. In the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was God. And the Bible also says that the word became flesh. Well, obviously the Bible could not become flesh if the Bible was still being written, correct? The word is referring to Jesus. And when I, I've always anchored myself to faith comes by hearing because when I've been praying with God, it's always been what I've been hearing him say and just fill my heart with. And it's the melody that just just shapes the way that it is. It's not always about what I'm, not instantly what I'm seeing on a page. It comes in an order. Let me go ahead and read you something. Listen to this. this is, these are lyrics from a song. Ready? Oh Lord my God, when I in awesome wonder consider all the worlds thy hands have made, I see the stars, I hear the rolling thunder, the power Throughout the universe display. Then sings my soul, my Savior God to thee. How great thou art, how great thou art. Then sings my soul, my Savior God to thee. How great thou art, how great thou art. And when I think that God, his son not sparing, sent him to die, I scarce can take it in. That on the cross, my burden gladly bearing. He bled and died to take away my sin. Then sings my soul, my Savior God to thee. How great thou art, how great thou art, how great thou art. Then sings my soul, my Savior God to thee. How great thou art. When Christ shall come with shout of acclamation and take me home, what joy shall fill my heart. Then I shall bow in humble adoration and then proclaim my God. How great thou art. Then sinks my soul. My Savior God to thee. How great thou art. Now these are lyrics from one of the most incredible hymns ever. How great thou art. But they didn't really have an impact unless you hear the melody with the song, did they? Me just reading it, me just processing it on the page, me just looking at it here on here, hear the lyrics of the song, okay, all I gotta do is just know these words, and that's it. No. It was hearing the song. Have you ever heard the hymn? Have you ever heard the hymn? Of course you have, come on. Everyone's heard that. Hope you've heard a great version of it. There's some amazing ones out there. But my gosh, I don't think anyone has brought me to, anything brought me to tears more than that one. But it's the melody. You know, the order in which this grabbed my heart. First, it was the melody. First, it was knowing the one who the song was about. Knowing who inspired it. Then it was the melody. Then it was the voice that I was hearing. who was filling me up. Then it was the lyrics. The lyrics were the last thing. It was the buildup to that point. And then all of it coming together is where it finally hit. Now, when I read the Bible, it always, I always read after I pray with him and have him soak me in his heart. Because now, when I'm reading the Bible, I'm not reading it. He's singing it to me. Uh, have you? I don't know if you've ever heard the Bible being sung to you. 
by God. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I'm it's, it's, okay. You have to experience this. Now it happens when you just 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 give it up. Just stop trying to intellectually process because I know that's what you want to do. Everyone says you've got to read the Bible for yourself. It's got to be your own process, your own learning process. It's a song. You know, one of my favorite books in the Bible is the Song of Solomon. It is, it is it's, just a, it's a wedding celebration. It really is. But knowing what the title of that book was, I immediately read that in my, read it as a melody. And that was one of the first books that really had the greatest impact for me. And which helped me open up my heart to understand him. And it was just so wonderful. It was just so incredible to see that it gelled so well with with it with who he is and who we are together. It just was just absolutely amazing. It was just an incredible experience. Faith comes by hearing. Hearing by Jesus, who is the perfect representation of God, who is his heart. You want to know God's mind? You have to know his heart. Jesus is the representation of God. God is love. Therefore, Jesus is the heart of God. And when you hear him, when you surrender, I've, it's a song. It's a beautiful melody. And the times that I prayed with him and he has walked me into heaven and sh and had to and just experience everything with him, the thing that was the most beautiful for me was the music. It was the sound. Because I was so filled with love, it was the melody that was enrapturing me. The lyrics, I already trusted It was the melody that just wrapped me up like a warm blanket and just filled me up with just so much joy that the lyrics were just, it was icing on the cake. They were sweet, but oh my gosh. It's not just what our eyes see. This is what God tells us, tell us about faith. It's not about what you can see, but he mentions about hearing about where faith comes from. The spark comes from the emotions that we take in from what we hear. Just think about the, your favorite song that you listened to growing up. This, this, even just for those of you who are not accustomed to hymns, okay, and I used a hymn as an example, just think about some of your favorite songs. If you grew up like in, listening to like groups like Journey or whatever, or you know, whatever, just groups that... Songs that just help bring back memories of loved ones and family and some of the best times of your life. When you first hear the opening notes of that song, they immediately trigger those memories and just trigger those feelings and that warmth in your heart. And it just helps, it just, it just brings up the wonderful things of that experience that just fill you up with joy. Well, with God, that's who He is. The word of God, Jesus, is who I hear. And that's the melody that I sing to. That's one of the reasons why I love gravitating to the Song of Solomon. And why I'm just, that's why I also love about the book of Luke about coming home to the Father and seeing the heart of the Father as well. That's another message too. I'm not going to go into that. I've already done that before. But hear him, hear the melody, know who he is, hear the melody, hear his voice. And then you know the lyrics are gonna be awesome. And when you hear the, and when you see the lyrics, I'm like, oh, oh, oh gosh. <laughs> because now you're so filled up with that joy and that peace, the lyrics are like, oh man, it's just so cool. You know, if I had tried to look at the lyrics first before I did anything else, a lot of times it would be 
it would set me on a completely different emotional path and a completely different set of expectations and probably on a different path to even want to even want to experience that with him. It's always my desire first for love and for the for the joy of just being with him and then everything just flies into place. Then I was like, I can't wait to hear your next song. I can't wait when I'm opening up the Bible now, when I'm when I'm opening up a verse. I already know who's gonna be singing. I already have the melody starting in my head. And then I read the words on there. The melody is playing and the lyrics are just going along with the spiritual melody. That's the voice of Jesus. <laughs> That's the voice of love. That's the voice of grace. That's the voice of experiencing the fullness in him. Can you imagine, once we leave this earth, being able to do that fullness, to fully without any kind of distractions here, physical distractions that could possibly stop you. Right now I'm recording a message. Something could happen where I could suddenly stop this message right now and I have to do something else. But in heaven, there's not going to be anything like that. Nothing like that. You're, 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 it's going to be just perfect, perfect, perfect. Everything. Can you imagine? Now I pull up the song I can only imagine. <laughs> and think about those lyrics. Oh my gosh. All right. God bless y'all. Have a great night. I hope this really sparks you up here. I hope this really just gets you all just filled with joy and happiness and just, just open up and just experience it. Experience the Father today. Experience His love. Experience His grace. But hear Him. Hear that melody. Mm -hmm. hear, start humming that song. And then when you see the lyrics, you'll already have everything already in place. God bless y'all. Have a good evening. Bye-bye.